my dorm tour now. Okay. Fun it. So I think what we're gonna start off with is what's really nice about my dorm <laughs> about my dorm is that I get to have a sink in my room, which not everyone gets. So I'm really happy about that. And it's actually really cute because my roommate and I we didn't like coordinate this, but we both ended up using really cute colors that complement each other. So mine's these like light flesh pink towels and hers are these turquoise ones. In the corner we have a garbage can and down here I think we have cleaning supplies and more garbage. And we have this mirror. It's one of those like old fancy ones where you can open it up and all your stuff is in. So come on, you can take a look. And so what I have in here is my retainer, um, the cup for cleaning my retainer, my deodorant, all my stuff in here, as well as some supplies for cleaning dishes. Um, my roommate, I told her she could use it as well, but she, I don't know where she stores her stuff. So I, I promise I wasn't just taking up the whole entire like cabinet. It just ended up where only I was using it. And if we go here, this is like the mini kitchen area. So I brought the microwave and she brought the refrigerator. And up here, uh, she has some leftover cookies because there was um, the warm cookie night where you got 10 cookies for $5 and two glasses of milk. So I also have some of my mugs here. This one says go nuts for donuts. I actually haven't used any of these mugs yet for like my coffee and such like that. Just because most of the time when I'm going out or I think I want coffee, I'm usually using my tumbler. Inside, I only have a couple things in here. So down here I have my water and then I have my coffee creamer from Trader Joe's. But that's honestly pretty much all that I have for this. I wanna buy Hot Pockets though because that's kind of like a guilty pleasure, as well as microwave popcorn so that I can microwave it. Okay, now let's go over to the more exciting part of the room. So here is my bed. This bedding is from Target. If it is still available, I'll actually link it down below. I think it's really cute because if you come here, it has this little fringe right here, and it has these cute embroidery details. And then over here, if you go here, <laughs> there's um, this sunshine pillow that I got actually from Target as well. I think it's cute because it matches with the theme of this embroidery and this kind of like crafty theme. So if you couldn't tell, my favorite color is yellow. My phone is yellow. My sheets are yellow. And my tapestry is also yellow. And there's sunflowers on the tapestry. This is from Amazon. My old DECA partner, Harneet, which is a really good friend of mine, she actually got that for me. So thank you, Harneet, if you're watching this. I think it's very cute and it just adds a very summery and like lively vibe to the whole room. And if you come back, okay, I'm gonna try and push this way. If you come back over here on the wall here, you can see that I have a lot of pictures of family here, as well as friends. And this is just something that I wanted to have, so it's a little collage of my friends and I and my family, just to kind of be a reminder of home when I'm away from home. And so down here, I have my three little storage drawers that came with the dorm from the university. So in here, I have my sweaters, I have my jeans and my skirts, and then my shorts and leggings. And then here, this is what I brought from home. This is my undergarments as well as socks, shirts that are like a little bit fancier than basic t-shirts and then basic t-shirts and then my bags down here. And then the corner, I, <laughs> in the corner, I put my laundry hamper, my tripod, as well as just some other things that I need to keep. And then if we come here to my desk, I actually have two backpacks, which is Honestly, probably a little extra, but also I guess I'm kind of a little extra. I use this one for Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and I use this one for Tuesdays and Thursdays because I have different classes on those two sets of days. So for me, it's just easier to keep my notebook in one backpack for that, those classes and then in the other backpack for the other classes. So at my desk, I have these polar pictures strung up so you can come here you can look at them if you would like. So these are just ones that I took with friends as well as just other artsy parts. And since you're over here already, 
you can see that there is this Keurig machine here, which my boyfriend Luke actually won for me at our senior grad night. So thank you, Luke, I love you. He's actually filming this right now. And, <laughs> and this is from his mom, so I use this for whenever I bring coffee out to class. I also bought metal straws, so hashtag save the turtles. I have my electric toothbrush here because back here I have all my plugs and everything like that. And so I didn't really have space to put my electric toothbrush back over by the sink. So it's over here. And then we have this fancy light lamp, like both. So if you come here, you can see that I just tap and then it's like a bright light and then brighter and then brighter and then off. And back here behind my laptop, which is I was using to write an essay, I have this little collage from my best friend, also my sister, Jocelyn. So thank you, Joss, for all this. This is so cute and I love it. I just look at it all the time whenever I'm doing homework and I just laugh. And then this is my plant, Casey. I am now a plant mom. She is already kind of dying, which I don't understand because it's hard to kill succulents and it's only week two. I watered her twice, but somehow she seems to be dying. So I'm still trying to figure that out, but um, hopefully she stays alive for a long time. And then over here by my notes, I have this little Hakuna Matata mug that I decorated myself. And in it, I just have my lip glosses as well as some like nail clippers and tweezers and such. So it's just a little storage area. And then behind my water bottle, I have a sugar fina bag. And so the sugar fina bag just holds a lot of my bullet journaling things. Because if you didn't know, I like to bullet journal a lot. So this is my bullet journal. And actually, if you'd like to see more of my bullet journal spreads, as well as just my whole bullet journaling, I guess, journey, follow on Instagram at minas.bulletjournal. Oh, okay. So if you come up here, you can see this cute little teacup. And this is from my best friend as well. And little did she know, this actually matches my bedding really well. So I think this is like adorable. She also gave me this little slips of paper and I have Kleenex over there as well as my nail polishes, which I only have three, a clear one, a pearly one from Cali, thank you. And then one from Korea. And while we're over here, let's just look at one of these because she said she just put a bunch of little random sayings and such in here. Okay. Okay. A yellow one came out, which makes me happy. <laughs> okay. So what she wrote is uncomfy because I don't know when, but I think it was in middle school and a little bit in like being an underclassman in high school, I used to say uncomfy a lot instead of uncomfortable. So I feel like I'm uncomfy or like, I feel uncomfortable <laughs> rather than uncomfortable. So there's that. Also here we have these pictures. These are from my uncle Aaron. So thanks Aaron so much. I like them a lot. They're really pretty and they just kind of tie in the old vibe that I had in my bedroom at home, which was kind of like this pink as well as you can see here. This, these are rose, this rose scented lotion and a rose scented body mist because that is my favorite scent. And then here we have all of my coffee. So now to my wardrobe. I actually just discovered today from Luke that there is a hook in here. So I actually hooked my hat here because my hook was, or my hook, my hat was actually sitting on this mirror because we have this extra mirror because this came with the dorm and it was just lying around and we didn't know what to do with it. So I just ended up putting it here. And this is also my bag I use for yoga with my water bottle and such. So if we come here, this is my wardrobe. Oh, she doesn't want to. So right now I don't have very many coats because I will be going back for winter break and that's when there is snow. Also, this is Luke's jacket. Um, but I have some of my lighter jackets here with me right now. My dress is hung up and this is one of my nicer shirts that would get wrinkled if I had folded them up or put them in drawers. And then I have my thrifted clothes right here because I get to wash them. I'm going to be washing them and probably the next video you'll see is a thrift haul. So stay tuned for that. 
I have some of my shoes here, as well as more of my shoes lined up here and down here. My shower stuff, my safe, and some other accessories that I still need to be out where they're home will be. And as we look up here, this is another storage area. If you ever need more storage, look up because above my wardrobe is a pretty good storage place for me. So I put more of my extra Keurig coffee pots. I think that's what they're called. As well as my laundry stuff. So this is what I use for washing my clothes and then dryer sheets for obviously when I dry my clothes. And then up here is just some miscellaneous things I actually have not looked at since I've moved in. And I'm not really sure what's in here because my mom packed this. But yes, so that is my dorm. Thank you so much for coming around and looking at it. I think, honestly, I'm not going to finish up my essay right now. I think I'm going to go take a nap right now. But thank you so much for watching. And please just let me know if you want to see any other videos. So yeah, I'll let you walk on out. <laughs> thank you so much for coming. Thank <laughs> you.